A new COVID vaccine could be available in the United States by the end of this month. Johnson & Johnson has asked the FDA to authorize its COVID vaccine for emergency use. Now, this one only requires a single dose and does not need to be stored in ultra-cold temperatures. The company says that about a month after taking the shot, it was 100% effective against hospitalization and deaths in the trials. If the FDA approves the vaccine, the company says it could ship 100 million doses in the next few months. Our lead national correspondent, David Begno, is in West Virginia at the state's COVID Emergency Command Center. David, this news about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine comes as new variants of the virus continue to spread. Anthony, they do, and the problem with that is every time a virus spreads, it has the potential to mutate and become potentially dangerous. Now, mutations are common, and oftentimes they're harmless, but the more it happens, the more likely it is that it's going to be a dangerous strain. There are three strains here in the United States that experts are particularly worried about because they're more contagious, and this morning we're going to start with an Alabama woman who lost her husband because of one of these new strains. Ashley Jackson says she met her husband, Alfonsier, on a blind date. Was it meant to be from the beginning? Let me say it was. For me, I was kind of skeptical, but <laughs> probably. <laughs> the two were married for nearly eight years. They have two young daughters, but their life together was cut short on Tuesday when Alfonsier died with COVID-19. Were you able to be there with him when he passed away? Through a window. It was like I was so far away, but I was close, but I was so far away. Even though the nurse, you know, held his hand and stuff, it, it just feel, didn't feel the same for me. I, I would rather did that. He had had flu-like symptoms, but he tested negative for COVID. He then got short of breath. He went to the emergency room. Doctors said his heart was failing. And then a few days later, they tested him again. I got the call from the health department saying, hey, your husband has a, is the first person in Alabama with the, the UK strand. That strain was first detected in the United Kingdom thanks to a national coordinated effort to sequence samples of the virus to look for mutations. In this case, the strain had become more contagious and potentially more lethal. Identifying a dangerous variant early enough is crucial because it could help stop the spread. While UK scientists recently sequenced more than 12,000 COVID samples in a single week, here in the United States, we're only doing about 5,000 a week. It's highly likely that there are variants that we are not picking up. That is Jennifer Dienbard. She's the director of a lab at Children's Hospital in Los Angeles. She sequences samples from all over L.A. County. Now, she knows what variants are spreading there, but she says labs like hers aren't getting or they aren't sharing data at a national level. If we see something here and let's say it's only one or two cases, um, we may not recognize the, the importance or severity of it unless there are also other states, other cities that are seeing the same thing. Mrs. Jackson says Alabama hadn't seen that variant first detected in the UK until they found it in three people, including her husband. Did you get the sense that he was scared? Yes, extremely, extremely. He was like, I didn't get a chance to walk my girls down the aisle or teach them how to drive. He don't have the opportunity to do those things. You may be wondering, did Alfonsier have pre-existing conditions? Ashley said none that they knew of. He wore his mask, he went from home to work, home to work. Didn't really have much interaction with people in the last several months. Gail Alfonsier died in his mid-30s. And it's stories like that, David, that are so hard. Number one, to be afraid when you're dying. And number two, to be alone and not be close to loved ones mm. at the time. It's very tough. Thank you very much.